is it hot, nice? Um, it's 1080 by 720, something like that. Let me let me see if I. And welcome back. As a Bachelor of Fine Arts myself, I'm always interested in looking at art, um, artists, where it comes from. Um, I'm here exploring a little bit about the arts of New Guinea, which is a large island, tropical island in the um, Pacific Ocean. So please like and subscribe if you like my content. Now let me read some of the arts of New Guinea um, statement in the museum. So New Guinea is a large tropical island fringed by hundreds of small islands to the east and the archipelago of Indonesia. To the west, it's western half of the Indonesia, while eastern half is the independent country of Papua New Guinea. But political boundaries established since the 16th century have not reflected the way people of New Guinea define their communities. New, Guinea, New Guinea's vast river and delta systems, tropical forests, and dramatic mountain ranges have profoundly shaped the lives of its inhabitants for more than 50,000 years. More than 700 distinct language groups developed there, a fifth of all of on Earth. The architecture and art forms of the island's communities reflect rich and diverse local and regional traditions. Part of my um, pronunciations here, but I am reading. Follow along, please. The art from this region is striking and captures our imagination. For the people of New Guinea, it links the past and the future, the earthly realm and the world beyond. These artworks have many stories to tell. Most of these pieces were created and used in last 500 years. The ritual objects, architectural fragments, and everyday items reveal faces and forms of ancestors, totemic animals, and supernatural creatures. Form and meaning vary from clan to clan, as, a, as knowledge of the symbolisms is often restricted to a community, community spiritual leaders, or elders. Some of our questions about these pieces remain unanswered. What cannot be concealed is the aesthetic power of these works and the powers and the prowess, excuse me, of their creators. The De Young has exhibited oceanic art since it opened in 1895. Wonder what, how they got these from. More than 300 master works of New Guinea art are in view in this gallery. it's kind of like a conundrum that I have when I see these works of art in the museums it's great to go see and appreciate it and and you know learn from these craftsmen but it also makes you questions like how did they did those artworks and treasures get to where they are and are these artworks or belong should, should go back to where they came from so just post in a question you tell me what you think lastly i will read uh something from evan paki the papua new guinea ambassador to the united states but this was back in 2006 our natural heritage explains our history and existence as a nation and who are who we are as people my country does not have much in the way of written history, but our traditional masterpieces and cultural objects. Functions as a window into our country's cultural past, enabling today's generation to better understand how our ancestors lived or survived, existed over time, functioned as villages, and built a society that has been passed on to future generations. Hope you enjoyed this somewhat educational video and while we're here let's check out the quilts by faith ringold um it's an amazing exhibit it's i'm not sure how long it's there but if you're by the golden gate park 
um saturdays it's free just go check it out it's a an amazing museum and um there's lots to learn if you're like art fine arts um i think it's it's a great trip and you have the park right there so enjoy So please like and subscribe if you like my content.